Saludamos a Chance Finucane, es the Chief Investment Officer at Oxbow Advisors. Chance, thank you so much for having us a few minutes. Yes, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, Chance, uh, this Tuesday, the August US CPI will be released. Um, I want to ask you, what can we expect from this data? I think it's pretty well expected that the month-over-month -month numbers uh, are pretty much going to be unchanged or even maybe slightly down. So from our perspective, we don't anticipate that this inflation reading is going to do anything to change the mind of what the Federal Reserve is going to do at their next meeting where they are expected to raise rates by another 75 basis points. What can, uh, can we expect from uh, the next uh, monetary policy meeting from the Federal Reserve? Um, I don't know if we have uh, to put the focus on uh, the um, margin of the uh, rate hikes, if it will be uh, 25, 50 or 75 basic points or uh, we must we uh, put the focus in other questions. It seems like everyone is expecting a 75 basis point hike at the next meeting at the end of September. So it might be newsworthy if they end up raising rates by a different amount. But from our perspective, what has really come through since last month is the Fed is going to continue to raise rates. Uh, you actually see it's expected in the marketplace that it could be approaching a 4% federal funds rate by the end of this year. And if you look at history, the Fed really doesn't start to pause or uh, move rates lower until the federal funds rate is above the current inflation rate. And we've got a long way to go before the Fed funds rate will be higher than the inflation rate, which is still expected to be 8% versus this time last year. So I think that's the thing that's really become embedded in expectations. And we would expect that uh, be the continued dialogue from the Fed after their latest meeting. Um, could uh, Powell say something um, significant about uh, pick off on inflation or uh, it's far uh, in this moment? They've been pretty, yeah, they've been pretty consistent recently about wanting to make sure they know inflation has come back down. And from our perspective, it wouldn't surprise us if inflation does start to come down, but it may not come down as fast as people anticipate. The reason for that is there are components of the CPI that are going to stay higher for longer. So if you look at inflation for shelter or for food, other items like that, I think, is going to continue to be a headwind in trying to get inflation down as fast as the Fed would like. Uh, Chams, uh, this uh, week we will know uh, the results of the uh, IBD Economic Optimism Index uh, that predicts uh, changes in sentiment in both as the conference boards or uh, the University of Michigan. Uh, what can we expect about? Any polls on sentiment or economic optimism have been very weak by historic standards, and we wouldn't expect that to really change. Uh, another number that's going to be released tomorrow is wage growth adjusted for inflation. And we're still seeing wages not grow as fast as the inflation rate, which is creating problems for households uh, in the United States, in Europe. Uh, and the stronger U.S. dollar has created issues in emerging markets. So we don't think that backdrop is going to lead to a real big increase in economic sentiment, uh, whether it's for households or for businesses. And uh, one last question, uh, considering the current market scenario, uh, which investment opportunities do you see at uh, Axbo Advisors? Right now, our portfolios for clients are very cautious. Uh, we've actually been buying some short-term treasury bills, as well as investing a bit in gold for new clients. Uh, and then if you need to own stocks in your portfolio, we would focus on either defensive sectors or companies that have high profit margins and generate lots of free cash flow. So examples like that would be Alphabet, MasterCard, or Visa, businesses that we would expect to continue to generate uh, great cash flow and have very good balance sheets. Because this is not a time where you're really going to be generating a lot of appreciation in our uh, expectation. It's really a time to focus on preserving how much you have in your accounts and waiting for the next great opportunity. We will focus on preserving our Thank you so much, uh, Chance Finucane. It's a pleasure. Thank you.